ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Research Grants Council RGC Award Presentation Ceremony 2021-2022 of the RGC Senior Research Fellow Scheme, RGC Research Fellow Scheme, RGC Postdoctoral Fellowship Scheme, Humanities and Social Sciences Prestigious Fellowship Scheme and Early Career Scheme. My name is Melody and I will be the MC for today. Let's start by giving everyone a big round of applause for being here. Thank you so much. True pleasure, thank you. This afternoon is a very special occasion to recognize and honor our very, very best academics and research talents who excel in their respective fields. We are most grateful to have the presence of our guest of honor, Secretary for Education, Mr. Kevin Young, JP, to grace the occasion. Mr. Young, please. Oh, not yet, not yet. Just say hi. Sorry, just say hi. Please say hi. Thank you. And first of all, can I please invite the host of today's event, Professor Yokshan Wong, Chairman of the RGC, to say a few words for us. Thank you. <laughs> Professor Wong, please. It's always good to have everyone just say hi and just make sure we see your beautiful faces to start. Thank you. And the stage is all yours. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Kevin Young, Secretary for Education, distinguished guests, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. A very warm welcome to you all to the 2021 RGC Award Presentation Ceremony. It is our great pleasure to have Mr. Kevin Young, Secretary for Education, joining us at this celebrative event today. This is my first time to host the RGC Award Presentation Ceremony since I took up the chairmanship of the RGC in March this year. Due to the pandemic, the presentation ceremony was held in hybrid, hybrid mode last year. Fortunately, and I'm glad to see that the pandemic situation now in Hong Kong is under control, so to speak, in general. And we can all come together to celebrate the outstanding achievements of our researchers in person. Today is a big event. Uh, we are to honor the 2021-22 cohort of awardees under our five schemes. So it means the RGC is very efficient and very effective. We are killing five birds with one stone. <laughs> it is not because we want to save money or save effort. It is because we putting all these five schemes together under one roof is more joyful and more meaningful. So today's ceremony is to honor the 2021-22 cohort of the RGC Senior Research Fellow Scheme, the RGC Fellow uh, Research Fellow Scheme, the RGC Postdoctoral Fellowship Scheme, the Humanities and Social Science Prestigious Fellowship Scheme, and the Early Career Scheme. The Senior Research Fellow Scheme and the Research Fellow Scheme aim at providing sustained support and relief from teaching and administrative duties for exceptional outstanding academics at their mid-career at UGC-funded institutions. We all understand that the SAR government is striving hard to develop Hong Kong into an international hub for innovation and technology in the Greater Bay Area, which requires us to strengthen our research infrastructure and nurture a large number of talents. In addition to recognize their distinguished ac accomplishment in research, we also hope that these prestigious research fellow awards will encourage the brilliant awardees to serve as a mentor to nurture our younger academics on campuses. Postdoctoral fellow training is a crucial transition for all young PhDs to develop themselves into independent researchers. So those awards for postdoctoral fellowship are not only the important driving force for academic and laboratory work within the universities, 
They will also ensure a supply of young talents with research skills for the R&D endeavor in Hong Kong. I'm delighted to see the enthusiastic nomination from our UGC fund institutions. In this year's exercise, 10 awardees confer the title of RGC Senior Research Fellow, and another 10 honor the title of RGC Research Fellow. In addition, we have selected a total of 50 postdoctoral fellowships awardees from the keen competition in the same exercise. The Humanities and Social Science prestigious fellowship scheme was launched in 2012 with a view to better supporting research and writing of HSS academics in producing outputs of scholarly work and other creative works. In view of the prestigious nature of the scheme, no more than 10 awardees, no more than 10 awards are given each year. As such, only HSS academics with truly exceptional merit and proven track records of research and publication will receive the award. Our panel members were very impressed by the high quality of proposal received and are happy to award a total of nine academics in this year's exercise. The Early Career Scheme, which was also launched in 2012, is a scheme for junior academics in their first three years as a full-time assistant professors with substantiation or tenure track. The competition in the 2021-22 exercise is exceptionally keen team, with a total of 418 applications, and ultimately only seven young researchers are selected to receive the Early Career Awards under our stringent international peer review assessment. I hope that this award will encourage all awardees to continue their excellent work and leverage the research in the education context in the years ahead. Once again, our heartfelt congratulations to all the awardees. I wish you all a very successful academic year ahead. Good health and thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Wong. Please be seated. Next up, can we please now invite our guest of honor, Mr. Kevin Yang. Secretary for Education, to share a few words with us. Everyone, let's put our hands together. Thank you, Mr. Yang. Professor Wong, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It's my great pleasure to join the Research Grants Council today to celebrate the excellent research achievements of our outstanding researchers. Let me first offer my warmest congratulations to the 10 awardees of the RGC Senior Research Fellow Scheme and RGC Research Fellow Scheme this year. Their cutting edge research projects offer innovative solutions that bring substantial benefits to our society, as well as significant and positive changes to our lives. I'm delighted to note that the respective selection panel of the two fellowships are impressed by the excellent research output, strong track records, remarkable leadership, and global visions in their respective area of research. The fellows are also commented on their mentoring success and well-formulated engagement plan to nurture the next generation of our research talents with their fellowships. Their exceptional achievements fully deserve the distinguished awards. We are also here to, to honor a group of stellar researchers who are receiving the Humanities and Social Sciences prestigious fellowships and the Earlier Career Award, who are the latest additions to a distinguished group of more than 160 award recipients under the two schemes, each of whom are outstanding academics who excel in the field of studies with impactful research, bringing positive changes to our culture, economy, environment, and public health. Our heartfelt congratulations also go to the rising 
research talent receiving the RGC postdoctoral fellowship today. The selection panels are extremely pleased with their research potential, high aspiration, and ambitious research goals, which reflects the great potential of Hong Kong research scene in the years to come. I look forward to these fellows progressing along their successful research career paths and becoming the next generation of leading academic researchers for Hong Kong and the region. I'm confident that the awardees will continue their contributions to Hong Kong academic research field and bring about impact for Hong Kong's long-term development and aspirations to be a world leader in innovation and technology. Echoing the emphasis of the 14th five-year plan on frontier fields such as life and health disciplines, I would count on our awardees to conduct relevant research in meeting the community needs and to inspire our next generations to join the research community. As academic research and scientific discoveries go beyond boundaries, I'm confident that we together will succeed in turning Hong Kong into a global research hub with more scientific breakthroughs and new, and new knowledge for the betterment of the mankind. To this end, the Hong Kong SAR government strives to propel research excellence and maintain Hong Kong's remarkable success in global research arena. Supporting quality and impactful research in our higher education sector has been and remains to be one of our top priorities for the higher education sector. Furthering to injecting 20 billion into the Research Endowment Fund in September 2019, the chief executive has announced in her latest policy address the new initiatives which have continued to demonstrate the government's tireless effort and commitment to support research development in Hong Kong, which include the relaxation of the over enrollment ceiling of Un University Grants Committee funded research postgraduate students from 70% to 100% as well as the extension of operation period of the 3 billion research matching grant scheme to continue encouraging the industrial and commercial sector to provide support for research activities in our universities. I'm most pleased that the government's commitment to driving research excellence in our universities have, has, pro, has produced impressive results. We are proud to note that from the results of the research assessment exercise 2020, that our acclaimed researchers have scaled new heights as 70% of research submissions have been rated as internationally excellent or well-leading. I would like to take this opportunity to convey my wholehearted gratitude to the RGC under Professor Wong's capable leadership for supporting the government in managing various research funding schemes which play a crucial role in driving Hong Kong's research excellence. Lastly, I'm delighted to meet the university leaders and distinguished scholars in person this afternoon, particularly so when full physical ceremonies in the past two years were not possible. With the invaluable contribution of our distinguished researchers, let us continue to keep the pandemic at bay and let our lives return to normal the soonest so that we, we would have more of, the, of these occasions to get together and give our research community their due recognition in full scale and without our face mask. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Yang. Please be seated. Thank you so much for the inspiring and the encouraging advice. We all look forward to witnessing Hong Kong to become a global research hub that is uh, by driving research excellence that we have now, before we proceed to our exciting award presentation for today, as you could probably see on the screen, we have something ready. Now, we would like to show you a video that is introducing this year's RGC Senior Research Fellows. First launched in the year 2019, the RGC Senior Research Fellow Scheme, also known as SRFS, aims at providing sustained support and relief, that is, from teaching and is, uh, administrative duties for exceptionally outstanding academics, that is, at UGC-funded universities, so that they can uh, d actually uh, dedicate fully to research and development. This year is actually the second exercise of SRFS. 
The 10 2021-2022 RGC Senior Research Fellows are being recognized for their global vision and strong leadership in fostering research development, as well as nurturing the new generation of research talents. We, could, we would not know more about this unless we watch the video. So everyone, please do direct your attention either to the LED that is in front of you. And for audiences that's at the back, uh, we do have uh, the video that is to be shown on the projected screens and on the window side and also the TV that is on that side as well. So everyone, let's enjoy the video together. I'm greatly honored and humbled to receive RGC Senior Research Fellowship. I'm deeply grateful for the support from the department, school, and the university. Sample selection models and quantile regression are empirical tools widely used in economics, business, and social sciences to evaluate the effects of public policy and social programs. This proposal brings together insights and benefits from the two different perspectives and develops effective tools to better address concerns of policymakers. For young researchers, a healthy amount of curiosity and persistence is critical for a successful career. Good ideas come around once in a while. You get lucky, but you don't get lucky all the time if you don't persist. Secondly, it's important to have a good understanding of the literature so we are well placed to judge the importance of various research topics. Finally, it is crucial to establish a good network of scholars, for example, by attending conferences or giving presentations. Such interactions could potentially lead to collaboration and possibly academic opportunities. In addition, feedbacks from fellow researchers could lead to improvement or adjustment of ongoing research. My RGC Senior Research Fellow Scheme project is to couple ferroelectric and piezoelectric effects on the optical and optical electrolysis process and to demonstrate device applications based on the coupling effects. I feel very honored to receive the SIFS award and share my research experience and views. I believe that the scheme will greatly benefit the local university in building up a pool of research talent and uh, play an important role in creating a bright future for Hong Kong's higher education sector. I believe that advancing cross-disciplinary research may trigger the emergency of the new research direction leading to exciting scientific discoveries and uh, wide applications. For my research, I have been dreaming of accepting an original idea, then moving towards the prototype and finally realizing practical application, even commercialization. For researchers in Hong Kong and the young talent, I suggest them to ask themselves three questions. Who are you? Where are you from? And where are you going? It's vital to identify key problems in specific research field. Try to think about where the research field is going when making a research plan. career goals are to conduct scientific studies that address major social issues and to train young scholars who are passionate about their research. One of the most urgent issues globally is to cultivate positive relations among social groups that have divergent socio-ethic background, political attitudes or interests. I'm passionate to conduct research on this topic and to formulate ways to improve intergroup relations based on my research findings. Therefore, I devote my senior research fellow project on understanding the psychological underpinnings 
of identities and intergroup relations during socio-political transitions. Passion is crucial for a successful researcher. Aside from passion, there is another equally important key to success. I need to care about strategies. First, identifying your own strategic capabilities, that is, the research that you have competitive advantage over others. Then next, investing resources to utilize these capabilities to deliver outcomes. I'm grateful to receive the award. The research project is very meaningful to my life and it's like a dream come true. I want to thank my family, colleagues, and students. Without their support, I would not have persisted to pursue my dream. I'm honored to be recognized by the RDC Senior Research Fellowship, which will support our study on the tip west coast of germinating pollen tubes using our recently established advanced platform, including the 3D TEM, Quao EM, and Quao FIP systems. Technically, these are a very challenging project. Therefore, the timely support of this fellowship is essential for the success of this project. We are grateful for the continuous support from the RGC, which have allowed us to establish several state-of-the-art platforms for advanced cellular and structural biology and promote collaborative research in Hong Kong and beyond. To remain competitive in a fast-changing world, one should stay positive and keep learning new technology from some of the best scientists in the world. Indeed, with the continuous support of RGC and CHK, we have organized multiple symposium to learn from the world leading scientists in new development and promote international collaborations. With the recent development and maturation of advanced technology, it's a golden stage for both basic and applied research in life sciences. The project is about design and analysis of quantum internet using online learning theory. My proposal is to create a quantum network so that these quantum computers can communicate and work together, similar to how the classical internet enabled the communications and cooperations of computers around the world. If it's done right, quantum internet will have a similar economic and cultural impact as the classical internet. First of all, I'd like to thank LGC for giving me this fellowship so that I can focus on this very interesting and important research problem. I also thank the Dean, Professor Martin Wong, for his support of the fellowship nominations. I'd also like to thank my family for their continued support. Last but not least, I'd like to thank all my former and current students, as well as various postdocs. They're a group of hardworking and intellectually curious young folks and I feel so fortunate that I have been working with these amazing, talented young people. A researcher needs to have an independent mind and a curious heart. Just keep learning, thinking, and have an inquisitive attitude. This will help focus on our research work and keep us to have a curious mind. Learn to differentiate what is an interesting research question or directions as compared to a research hype. It is more important to have a scholarly attitude and look at the world through the eyes of a child. I'm honored to have received this senior research fellowship. I study how children learn to read and to write across cultures, languages, and scripts. The research for this fellowship focuses on how word reading and writing are the same and different across three Chinese cities, Hong Kong, Beijing, and Taipei. These cities use different methods to teach literacy in Chinese as well as in English as a foreign language. Our team seeks to identify the strongest predictors of reading and writing difficulties in each city. The earlier we identify children with literacy difficulties, such as dyslexia and dysgraphia, 
the more likely we are to help such children. Motivation for research, including curiosity, desire to improve the world condition in some way, a commitment to cooperation with others, or all of these, is key for getting through the tough times. Young researchers must make sure that there is something about research that will keep you interested throughout the research journey. Thanks so much to the UGC for this award. I hope I can use it to generate interesting new research and also to mentor junior researchers in my field. I'm hopeful that some of my research helps children to learn better and more efficiently. This is my strongest motivation. Obviously, I'm delighted to have received this grant from the RGC, and I'm excited in particular about the prospect of using some of the money to hire new postdoctoral researchers to strengthen my field. My project involves philosophers working with scientists to explore the epistemological consequences of some of the new techniques that have been introduced into science in recent decades. For example, computer simulations and artificial intelligence are increasingly being used. Being a good team leader is difficult, but fostering a sense of community is an important part of the puzzle. So is allowing junior researchers some time and some space to develop their own ideas. After all, they're the senior researchers of the future. How to remain competitive in a fast-changing world depends quite a bit on which subject you're working in. The challenges facing scientists, for example, are quite different from those facing historians or philosophers. But one piece of advice I think is pretty universally applicable is to set the agenda yourself rather than to jump on some kind of emerging bandwagon. The real secret to success as a researcher is very simple. It's just hard work. As Thomas Edison put it, it's 2% inspiration and it's 98% perspiration. For young researchers, my advice is to only focus on areas that you're really passionate about, because you'll have to rely on that passion to sustain you through difficult periods and to drive you to excel. I'm so excited to be notified of receiving the RGC Senior Research Fellow Award, and I feel honored to have this prestigious award. With this support, I can concentrate on research and hope to achieve higher. In my proposed SRFS project, I will first build up an integrative approach for metal protein interactions at the protein-wide scale for identification of key metalloproteins from microbial pathogens. I will then investigate the role of metals and metalloproteins in the interface of host pathogen interaction. Thirdly, I will find a way to enhance the biological efficacy of bismuth and resin compounds against the bacterial and virus infection in vivo through chemical formulation. To remain competitive, we have adjusted our research plan and update our approaches from time to time when new technologies and methods are available in this fast-changing world. This is very important for interdisciplinary research. A new technology in other disciplines often has a huge impact on our research. Gene editing and deep learning are good examples. It is important for junior scientists to build up their expertise during their graduate studies, and then they need to find a new area. They should establish their network and increase the visibility in the international research community. My RGC Senior Research Fellow Scheme project is focused on Mauricio Pilates in Van der Waals materials. Mauri refers to the interference structure of atomically seen 2D crystals stacked by Van der Waals force. It is a new platform to explore a number of important research frontiers, such as topological quantum matter, electronics, and quantum many-body phenomena. I am greatly honored and am very grateful to be awarded this Senior Research Fellowship funding, which is not only a recognition to the past achievement and the importance of our research, but also provides ample funding that allows me to bring together some excellent young researchers. As a senior researcher, 
our roles and responsibilities become multidimensional. We need to steer the direction of research and identify important problems to work on for our whole team, based on the background and expertise of ourselves and our team members, as well as the latest development of the related research frontiers. For the research community in Hong Kong, I think this may be the best time ever with the significantly increasing grant opportunities and funding scales from the government agencies and the foundations. As well as the increasing demand regionally and globally in advancing science and technology. My SRFS project is about developing materials, devices, and systems for permeable stretchable electronics that are important for many types of wearable electronics. Electronics that can be bent largely, twisted, and stretched in one, two, or multiple dimensions. The technology developed in the past largely overlooked the permeability of materials, devices, and systems, which would be indeed an indispensable factor for long-term wearing. Therefore, my project aims to develop permeable types of stretchable materials and electronic devices to address the challenge. The SRFS scheme actually is very timely to fund this research. I really appreciate RGC to launch this scheme and to fund my research. It is my great honor to receive this fellowship. I feel that Hong Kong has its own advantages in R&D. On one hand, Hong Kong maintains a large degree of freedom in academic research. International academic exchange in Hong Kong is very frequent and convenient. On the other hand, Hong Kong is right next to the mainland. Being one major city of the Greater Bay Area, Hong Kong enjoys strong research support from the mainland. Besides, the strong manufacturing infrastructure and the capital in the GBA facilitates knowledge transfer activities, converting those written on the paper into real technology and products. It is very impressive and very incredible, in fact, that the distinguished researchers from our higher education sector are excelling in such great variety of research work from different fields as well as different disciplines. The video we have just seen was actually an extracted uh, version, is from the extracted cuts on each RGC senior research fellow. And of course, we will be uploading the full version of each of their videos onto the RGC website very soon. So everyone, please stay tuned. And you may have a better knowledge about their research work later, but now let's all meet them in person on stage. May I please invite Mr. Yang to come onto the stage to present the awards to this year's RGC Senior Research Fellows. Everyone, let's put our hands together for him. <laughs> Mr. Yang, please. The awardees are Professor Song Nian Chen from the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. Perfect. Let's do one more. Thank you. Next up, we have Professor Jianhua Hao from the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. Thank you. Professor Ying Yi Hong from the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Please board the stage. Thank you, Professor. Li Wenjiang from the Chinese University of Hong Kong.
Thank you very much. Professor Hong Zhe-sun from the University of Hong Kong. Thank you once again. Professor Wang Yao from the University of Hong Kong, welcome. Next up, Professor Zhe Jianzhen from the University or from the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. Welcome. And congratulations. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Both please remain on stage, both Mr. Young and Professor Dung, because uh, for the next part, can I please invite all SRFS awardees to come onto the stage once again and to take a group photo with Mr. Young. At the same time, can I please invite Professor Yokshan Wong, Chairman of the RGC, Professor James Tang, Secretary General of the UGC SG, and Mr. Mike Ng, Deputy Secretary General of the UGC DSG2 to come forward and take a group photo together. You can show all the faces and everything that they're holding perfectly. Congratulations. In the meantime, to Professor Chen, Professor Hao, Professor Hong, Professor Jiang, Professor Sun, Professor Yao, and Professor Deng. I just want to say thank you and congratulations once again to our 2021-22 RGC Senior Research Fellows. Thank you for the big round of applause. We have, in fact, three more awardees. Professor John Chi Sing Lui from the Chinese University of Hong Kong, Professor Catherine McBride from the Chinese University of Hong Kong, and Professor Daryl Patrick Robottom from Lingnan University, who are not available today to join us. The award plaques will be delivered to them um, after the ceremony today. And Mr. Young, thank you so much for remaining on stage for the next awards. Let's move on to the RGC Research Fellow Scheme, also known as RFS, which, has, was, which was actually introduced in the year 2019. The 10 RGC Research Fellows in the 2021-22 exercise have impressed the selected panel with their impactful research projects and excellent track record in research. The award is indeed a recognition of their unfailing contribution in driving research excellence. Now, can I please invite Mr. Yuan to get ready and to present the awards to this year's RGC Research Fellows, please. First up, Dr. Shen Penghu from City University of Hong Kong. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Wu. Please be seated. Dr. Kai Bing Huang from the University of Hong Kong. Congratulations. Thank you. Next up, Professor Q Bong Jo from the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. Wonderful. Next up is Dr. Stephanie Kwai Yi Ma from the University of Hong Kong. Thank you. Next is Dr. Gang Peng from the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. Congratulations.
Thank you. Next is Dr. Jue Shi from Hong Kong Baptist University. Congratulations. Thank you. Next, Dr. Jing Yao Tang from the University of Hong Kong. Thank you. Next, Professor Tong Wang from the City University of Hong Kong. Thank you. Congratulations once again. Professor Li Zhang from the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Thank you. Professor Lei Zhong from the Chinese University of Hong Kong. And gentlemen, please remain on stage as uh, I would now invite all RFS awardees to come onto the stage again to take a group photo with Mr. Yang. Also, can I please invite Professor Wong, Professor Tang, Mr. Ng to come forward and take a photo together with us. And in the meantime, I just want to say congratulations to Dr. Hu, Dr. Huang, Professor Zhou, Dr. Ma, Dr. Peng, Dr. Xu, Dr. Tang, Professor Wong, Professor Zhang, Professor Zhang, congratulations, thank you. Let's congratulate our 2021-22 RGC Research Fellows again. Thank you, Mr. Yang, for being our guest of honor today. Thank you so much. And Professor Wong, please remain on the stage for the next set of awards. Now, moving on, we are going to announce the nine awardees for the 2021-22 Humanities and Social Sciences Prestigious Fellowship Scheme. Introduced in the year 2012, HSS PFS aims to grant extended time off and supporting funds to outstanding investors with proven track record of research and publication under the disciplines of the Humanities and Social Sciences panel to enable them to focus on research work and writing as well. Now, uh, may we invite the chairman of RGC, Professor Wong, to get ready and to present the awards to our Humanities and Social Sciences prestigious fellows this year, please. First up is Professor David Robert Carlos from the University of Hong Kong. Thank you. Nice tie, by the way. Love the red. Make sure we have the second photo as well. Thank you, Professor Carlos. Thank you. Professor Clara Wing Chun Ho from the Hong Kong Baptist University. Thank you, Professor Ho. Professor Julia Christine Kuhn from the University of Hong Kong.
Perfect. Professor Eric S. Nelson from the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. Congratulations. Thank you. Next up is Dr. Olga A. Zeitz from the University of Hong Kong. Welcome. Professor Wang, Dr. Zeiss, please remain on stage. Uh, thank you very much. May I please invite all HSS PFS awardees to come onto stage once again to take a group photo with Professor Wong. So everyone, please get ready. And I see everyone have the plaque in hand already. And also, can I please invite Professor Tang and Mr. Ng to come forward to take a photo together from the photographer. And congratulations to Professor Carlos, Professor Ho, Professor Kuhn, Professor... Nelson, and also Dr. Zeiss. Thank you. Congratulations once again to our 2021-2022 HSS PFS awardees. Big round of applause, thank you. And uh, also, we have, in fact, uh, four more awardees. We have uh, Professor Julian Shelsey, uh, she, uh, uh, from University of, uh, sorry, from the City University of Hong Kong. We have Professor Mark Mason from the Education University of Hong Kong, Dr. Yunya Song from the Hong Kong Baptist University, and as well as Professor Emily uh, Yu Ye from the Lingnan University. University who are not available to join us today. And of course, the award plaques will be delivered to them after the ceremony. And Professor Wong, thank you so much for uh, remaining on stage for the next part here. Now let's move on to the early career scheme. The scheme was set up again in the year 2012 with an aim to nurture and prepare promising awardees for a career in education and also in research We have shown th who have shown their excellent academic quality. Only principal investors who have submitted outstanding research proposal and satisfactory education plan under the early career scheme would receive the early career award. Now this year we have seven awardees. Can we please invite now Professor Wong to get ready? Oh, very ready already, thank you. Now, can I please have uh, Dr. Yu Sing Han from Hong Kong Baptist University. Let's put our hands together. Wonderful. Thank you. Dr. Pushi Krisa Kyung from the Education University of Hong Kong. Please part the stage. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Next up is Dr. Tan Lee from the University of Hong Kong. Congratulations. Thank you and congratulations once again. Dr. Xueni Li from Hong Kong Baptist University. Congratulations. Thank you. Professor Christina Wai Yin Wong from the Chinese University of Hong Kong.
Thank you. And Dr. Tao Yang from the City University of Hong Kong. Thank you. And gentlemen, please both remain on stage. And thank you once again, Professor Wong, uh, for awarding. Now, can I please invite all of the ECA awardees to come onto stage once again to take a group photo with Professor Wong? Can I please invite uh, Professor Tang and Mr. Ng to come forward to take a photo together? And also our Secretary for Education, Mr. Young, we have him here. Thank you. To Dr. Han, Dr. Kyung, Dr. Tan Lee. Dr. Lee, Professor Wong, and Dr. Yang, congratulations. Thank you very much. Professor Wong, all of our honorable guests, everyone, please be seated. Thank you so much. We have, in fact, one more awardee, Dr. Reshna Darius Nicholson from the University of Hong Kong, but she is not available uh, to join us today. And of course, as I mentioned before, these award plaques will be delivered to her after the ceremony. So everyone, let's put our hands together one more time to congratulate our 2021-22 ECA awardees once again. All right, last but not least, it is time for us to announce the awards for the RGC postdoctoral fellowship program. Now, the PDFS was introduced in the year 2019 to encourage doctoral graduates in pursuing a research career in Hong Kong with support at a pivotal time in their very early career, that is, and in turn also attract a pool of talent to support the R&D in Hong Kong. All PDFS awardees in this, actually, um, in in this exercise are promising postdoctoral researchers contributing to the research community that is here in Hong Kong with their research talent in different academic fields. This year, our RGC postdoctoral fellowship awardees are, everyone can pay attention to the visuals that we have, Dr. Emily Verla Boveno, City University of Hong Kong, Dr. Wen Ling Tao, City University of Hong Kong, Dr. Xu Chen, uh, Hong Kong Baptist University, Dr. Ka Ki Chung, Chinese University of Hong Kong, Dr. Uh, Kiling Deng, the University of Hong Kong, Dr. Kun Tai Fan, the University of Hong Kong, Dr. James uh, Fancello, uh, Lingnan University, we have Dr. Meng Xia Gao, the University of Hong Kong, Dr. Choi Guo, the Chinese University of Hong Kong, Dr. Jian Ping Huang, City University of Hong Kong, Dr. Jing Huang, the Education University of Hong Kong, Dr. Ling Yun Huang, the University of Hong Kong, Dr. Hong Ling Lao, the Education University of Hong Kong, Dr. Shun Fat Lao, the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. And everyone in the meantime can follow the instructions from our staff, but get some instructions from them. Uh, Dr. Derek Lee, the University of Hong Kong, Dr. Mei Suit Lee, the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, Dr. Cheng Lee, the Chinese University of Hong Kong, Dr. Guolin Liang, City University of Hong Kong, Dr. Francis Lin, City University of Hong Kong, Dr. Tao Liu, the Chinese University of Hong Kong, Dr. Chi Tob Mak, the Hong Kong Polytechnic University, Dr. Lukas Maroha, Chi uh, Hong Kong Baptist University, Dr. Benjamin Joseph Mulvey, the Education University of Hong Kong, Dr. Yusuf Lakbao uh, Odash, Lingnan University, Dr. Giovanni Santini, Hong Kong Baptist University, Dr. Philip Chu Chun Tang, the Chinese University of Hong Kong, Dr. Ling Tang, Hong Kong Baptist University, Dr. Ching Tang, the University of Hong Kong, Dr. Xiaopeng Tang, the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, Dr. Ching Tang, the University of Hong Kong, Dr. Phil, uh, David Philip, at their field, the Chinese University of Hong Kong, Dr. Guomin Wang, Chinese University of Hong Kong, Dr. Hongfei Wang, City University of Hong Kong, Dr. Liu Yao Wang, Hong Kong Baptist University, Dr. Meng Meng Wang, the Hong Kong Polytechnic University, Dr. Xi Jing Wang, the University of Hong Kong, Dr. Natalie Lucky Wong, the Chinese University of Hong Kong, Dr. 
uh, Xin Deng Wu, the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, Dr. Wang Hui Xu, City University of Hong Kong, Dr. Zen, uh, Zheng Ye Zhu, the Education University of Hong Kong, Dr. He Ming Yao, the University of Hong Kong, Dr. Ya Ting Yu, the Hong Kong Polytechnic University, Dr. Han Yuan, the Hong Kong Polytechnic University, Dr. Hui Hung Zhang, the Hong Kong Polytechnic University, Dr. Yi Chi Zhang, the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, Dr. Jing Xin Zhao, the Hong Kong Polytechnic University, Dr. Tian Yu Zhang, the Chinese University of Hong Kong, Dr. Mao Zhang, the Education University of Hong Kong, Dr. Yan Ping Zhu, the Hong Kong Polytechnic University, Dr. Yunar Zhu, City University of Hong Kong. So everyone, please follow the instructions from All right, let's do a thumbs up, everyone. Showing off your best smiles behind the mask. We can still see your smiles, everyone. Wonderful, big round of applause. Congratulations to our 2021-22 PDFS awardees. Congratulations once again. The RGC Award Presentation Ceremony 2021-22 of the RGC Senior Research Fellow Scheme, RGC Research Fellow Scheme, RGC Postdoctoral Fellowship Scheme, Humanities and Social Sciences Prestigious Fellowship Scheme, and Early Career Scheme has now come to an end. Thank you so much, everyone, for attending. And again, congratulations to all of our attendees or our awardees on their well-deserved success and contribution. We believe that the local research sector will continue to thrive together with all of you playing a big part in it. Let's give a, another big round of applause to our distinguished researchers and meritorious awardees who are already here with us today. And on behalf of UGC and RGC, I would like to say thank you once again for joining us to celebrate this meaningful occasion. I hope you have enjoyed this special afternoon. Everyone, thank you, and we'll see you next year.